Bonjour. Welcome to WolfTech Tip of the Day in collaboration with Support Pro. My name is Jean-Luc and I am a programmer here at WolfTech. Today I will be talking about the Auto Height sensor, its functionality, and how to achieve its optimal adjustment. WolfTech semi automatics are equipped by standard with a diffuse photo eye sensor which has a built-in time delay feature. There are two benefits of using such a time delay. It creates a load surface gap buffer by ignoring false readings. But mainly, it provides us with the overwrap adjustability we need in order to secure the top layer of your precious products. Now, before attempting to change this time delay, you should verify a few critical points. First, the photo eye has to be physically level and aim to read across the center of the wrapping area. Secondly, the sensitivity has to be adjusted far enough to read the entire wrapping area, but no further. Finally, the signal provided to the PLC input has to be present when there is no object detected by the photo eye. This last verification is important because it will not only confirm that the photo eye logic and the circuits are working, but also that your auto height selector switch is turned on. Depending on the year of fabrication of your equipment, you may see two different photo eye models, but don't worry, they follow the same logic, so same checklist applies. All right, let's talk about the time delay adjustment now. Here is the dial that you will use to increase or decrease the time delay between 0.5 and 10 seconds. There is only one way to tell if your time delay is right for the load and it's to wrap the product. Following these adjustment steps will ensure that you find the best wrap result in only a few wrap cycles. Start by adjusting the rotation speed and the amount of film tension required for the proper load containment. Next, adjust the carriage speed to create the proper overlap coverage on the load sites. And then, finally, verify your overwrap adjustment. You have to keep in mind that once set up to satisfaction, even if only one of the adjustable variables are changed, it is best practice to double check the remaining variables. At this point, I need to mention that if you're wrapping dark, shiny, or round surfaces, your standard diffuse photo eye may perform poorly. In these cases, we recommend to upgrade to a background suppression or laser photo eyes, such as one of these. Because these photo eyes do not have any built-in delay, WolfTech will then use the PLC TrimPod Zero as the photo eye delay adjustment, but that's only available in the machine equipped with the standard control panels. If a basic control panel is used, an external time delay relay will need to be added to the carriage and will be used to achieve the same result. If you have any questions or need information, please don't hesitate to call us here at WolfTech and our customer service team will gladly assist. Thanks for watching and have a great day.